next. Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Stick around to save 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress and get two free pillows. Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Um, as you guys can see here next to me, we have just a, a small stack of boxes. There's more behind this one too. Because we have been like up to our eyeballs and advent calendars for the past like, I don't know, three and a half months or something, um, we have definitely neglected the <laughs> subscription boxes on this channel. And they're piling up. Oh my gosh, they're piling up. I don't even want to show you guys the Ipsy hoard. However, I did in my last video. There's a clip of it at the the end uh, we will eventually get to those as well but today we have like one two three four five six seven eight eight boxy charms if you are only interested in one single boxy charm which is a boxy charm for february that's this one right here we're gonna open that one at the end and there will be a timestamp for it but we are gonna work our way through the rest of these first before we get to this one so like in absolutely no particular order i have no idea what month these are from uh we're just gonna start here at the top all righty so the first box we have here is a base boxy charm this is the standard subscription the theme for this box is it's giving giftable glam so i'm gonna assume we're looking at maybe like a December box. <laughs> I just wanted to save the foam because I save all the packaging material. I really didn't expect things to come flying out of there. I thought it was gonna be, you know, like when you yank like the tablecloth off the table and all the stuff stays on it. I thought it was gonna be like that. What was in here? Oh, I found it. Let's go ahead and talk about the first item here. This is Luna Magic Mango and Cherry. I like the packaging on this, that like blue. I mean, like I'm tired, but not that tired. Orange and pink on there, it's kind of cute together. This is a hydrating lip balm. Uh, I don't know if there are gonna be two hydrating lip balms in here, that would be nice. Oh, there are two hydrating lip balms. So we have two little squeezy tubes, a lip balm here and cherry and mango, and those seem nice. I kind of want to try this mango one. I'm wondering if it is like truly orange and if it tastes like mangoes. Okay, so it's definitely not like super orange. It's just kind of like a pale pink. I don't need a whole honk. Okay, it is like a little bit mango -y, a little bit tropical. Ooh, you can kind of get the flavor a bit more if you suck it in like that. Next up, we have an item here from Ofra. This is the Midi Face Palette. What do they mean by Midi? The only time I've ever heard of like a Midi anything is like a Midi skirt. Not a mini skirt, but like, like it hits you at the shin. This is in the shade Medium, and I don't, I definitely don't think I'm a medium. <laughs> to be fully honest, in real life, it looks even deeper than it does on camera. I think these shades are just personally way too deep for me. I'm assuming these are bronzers. This one's matte and this one is shimmery, so maybe they're just like two different types of bronzers. And then there is a highlight in the middle. Really nice looking shades. I do like Ofra highlights, but I definitely think this is gonna be way too deep for me. Then right along here, we have something from Ciate London. I wonder, since we haven't done subscription boxes in a while, Ciate still has their like death grip on subscription boxes because before advent calendar, Ciate London was becoming the new Wander Beauty. Uh, but the next item we have in here is a velvet lip liner. Ooh, that color actually looks really nice. This is in the shade Coco, and it's like a nice kind of like purpley shade. It, it is quite on the purple side, actually, especially in person. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I like that. It's not a super pigmented intense color or anything, but I almost kind of like that. Like this, which is a gloss over it, might be really pretty. Let's go ahead and try that. My lips are a little bit stained red pink from the lipstick I was wearing earlier, but it's pretty much all gone now. Is this even coming off color? Or is that just the same color as my lips? Quickly, also, speaking about things that are red, um, I don't know what's happening to my neck. If you guys like see this, note like I didn't injure myself, it's shockingly. It just popped up here literally today. Uh, my neck's been kind of scratchy, itchy for a couple of days, and all of a sudden now I have this. I don't know. Okay, either this isn't depositing like any color whatsoever or I have just found my perfect My Lips But Better shade because like I'm like kind of rubbing it on there and not much just happening. This half of my lip has no product on it and this half has product but like it's it's almost the same. Damn. That's kind of wild actually. It is just a tiny bit on like the more mauve side but um, I, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I like that. I slapped a little bit of clear balm on top of it but um, I, yeah, I can actually see myself getting used out of that liner. All right, next in here we have the Real Her Magnetic No Mag Tip. Mm. Metallic Eyeliner Duo. That sounds kind of fun. A couple of duos in here. That's nice. So we have two different shades in here. We have this really pretty blue and then a really pretty copper as well. The blue is I Am Creative and then the copper is I Am Resilient. Whoa, okay. I literally barely even grazed my skin with those, but the color came off really nicely. <laughs> it's nice to see a pencil eyeliner that isn't just plain black for once. Like it's nice to see some color in here and it's really nice that we got two. And then finally inside of this box, the last thing we have here is from a set. Saturday skin and this is Pretty Pop. I don't know why that's making me think of Pretty Patties from Spongebob. I guess I could tell you guys what Pretty Pop is. Uh, it is a probiotic powder whipped cream. Pretty Pop, <laughs> Pretty Pop, <laughs> Pretty Pop probiotic powder whipped cream. <laughs> that's a mouthful. And uh, yeah, it's just a cream. <laughs> it just looks like a pretty good, a pretty little cream. So this is a moisturizer. It is supposed to have probiotics.
probiotics in it and prebiotics, both of the biotics. All right, so that's everything inside the first boxy charm. One down, seven more to go. Um, let me get you guys some prices really fast. So the Ofer palette is $35. The Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream is $57. That, that's kind of a lot. Then we have the Real Her Metallic Eyeliner Duo, which is $30. The Luna Magic Beauty uh, Lip Balm Thingies are $16. I want for both of them. That's not bad. And then we have the Ciate London Lip Liner, which is $18. That's a little bit expensive for a lip liner. Look at what I found. Ice cream calculator. All right, so our first box here has totaled $156. Um, that's not too terribly bad for a base box. I feel like the Saturday Skin Cream definitely is like upping that value a little bit. But overall, I didn't think this was a terrible box. We got two items in there that came with two items. So that was pretty cool. And there was a good amount of makeup. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Before we move on, I would love to show you guys with today's sponsor, Helix. Like most people, sleep is very important to me. It's one of my favorite things to do, just like Bren back here. We That's one of the many things we have in common. We love sleeping and we love sleeping on our Helix Sleep Mattress. I've had my Helix mattress for well over a year now and it has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up very stiff and sore but since switching to Helix I don't have that problem anymore. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shift right to your door. Helix knows that everyone is different so to ensure that you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and your sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who likes a super soft cloud like mattress and I share my mattress so the sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Lux, and I think it is the perfect choice. Like I said I've had my Helix for over a year now and I'm just loving the sleep that I get. I'm sleeping so comfortably on my Helix Sleep mattress. It's soft but also supportive in all the right places. I don't wake up with my hips and my shoulders killing me anymore and it has improved my overall day. I'm just getting a really good night's sleep and I'm waking up feeling refreshed. With your Helix Sleep mattress, you also get a 100 night sleep trial. If you don't love it, they'll pick it up for you and you get a full refund. You also get a 10 year warranty and there are financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part of all of this is that Helix will deliver your mattress straight to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. I set up my king size mattress all by myself. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the block, Plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. This is so cool. I haven't even taken like the outer plastic off yet. <laughs> it's already inflating. So if you'd like to try out Helix and get a good night's sleep, click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Alexandria for 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress and two repillows. And just thank you so very much to Helix for sponsoring this video and helping to support the channel. Next, we have a very heavy little base box. Does anybody else just live with something like constantly stuck in their eye, like a little fuzz just constantly in their eye? Or is that is that just me? Hey, it's the same. Do I still get two base boxes? Where'd this come from? I thought I no longer receive two base boxes, uh, but I guess I do. So I'm gonna very gently pull out this foam and set it quietly to the side. Uh, wow, okay, that makes things a little bit easy here. Uh, let me just go ahead and go through all the repeats we have, which are, are these. I'll check to see if anything is in a different shade. Nope, we have the Velvet Lip Liner from Ciate London and Coco, which I'm excited to have too. We have the Luna Magic Mango and Cherry Lip Balms. Then we have the Ofra Face Palette. Oh, this one's in light though. I might actually be able to use this one. It definitely is a bit lighter than the uh, medium version. Okay, the shades in this one are, are kind of interesting. The other one I couldn't tell if they were like intending to have like two different bronzers. One was supposed to be a kind of shimmery one, one was a matte. Reading the back here, this is supposed to be a contour highlight and bronzer. This definitely looks like a contour. It's a gray tone. But this over here, they're intending to be a bronzer. For some reason, when it's swatched, it just comes off more of like a gold highlight, really more than a bronzer. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see that swatch there on my hand, but it does look like a deep kind of golden highlight. For me personally, this might not be my go-to combination of face shades. Then we have another Real Her eyeliner duo in these same shades, that kind of blue and the bronze. And then finally, we do have a brand new product in here, so that's fun. Ooh, this is a fig renewal oil. I really like the packaging of this. Something about it just looks very elegant and nice. And also figs seem elegant to me, you know? I feel like you gotta be like a certain class level to just enjoy a fig. Unless it's like a fig Newton, which are very good. <laughs> What does that mean? What on earth is salad infused beauty? It says it's smack dab there on top of the box. Salad infused beauty. What on earth is salad infused beauty? That probably means something, but all I'm picturing is, you know, like the Olive Garden, just like the big shareable salad. You're not gonna give me any explanation after just saying it's enriched with salad? What a cute little bottle. That is so precious. Looks like a really nice perfume bottle or something. <laughs> I think the way I like unhinge my jaw to go, when I first saw this, um, did something to my ears and like popped one of them. Is there a little peely piece of plastic on the front of this? Oh, there is. That's just so much fun to me. I was hoping because it was so pretty and elegant looking and pink and had figs in it that it would smell a little like fruity or something. It, it doesn't. It does not at all. It smells like grass. If you like the smell of like a fresh mowed lawn, it has kind of that scent to it. Just very grassy. Yeah, that smells like lawn care. All right, box number two prices real fast. We know most of them. Oh, 
Ooh, that fig oil is $72 for that little thing. I knew it was fancy. Fig people are fancy people. All right, so this one obviously has a slightly higher value because the fig oil is more expensive than the Saturday Skin product. So this is $171 worth of product, which that again is fairly good. And again, I had the same kind of comments about this box as I did the first one. A good amount of makeup in there, a couple products that have two products inside of them, and a very fancy fig oil bottle. So yeah, pretty good. So we have two boxes down, five more to go. Let's go ahead and move on to this one here. Again, nice and hefty. All right, so it looks like we have a premium box here and the little theme for this one is so fresh and so clean. What's that from? So fresh and so clean. First item we have in here is from LYS Beauty, and this is the Think Bright Glow and Hydrate Serum. This has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in it, which definitely are glowy and hydrating ingredients. Ooh, packaging, cute. The product itself is just really like enticing. It's a really nice color. I like that kind of swirl of glitter in there. That smells very alcoholy, <laughs> but like not in like a rubbing alcohol way, but like in a mixed drink kind of way. Sounds like a tequila sunrise. Oh, interesting. I feel like just from the packaging alone, this is definitely a brand I've never seen seen before. So we have something from Salute to the Sun and this is a Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Mascara. But the packaging of it has what looks to be like hieroglyphics on the side and it's gold and blue. I definitely feel like I've never seen this brand before. This is in the shade Keem, K-E-M. Oh, okay. It's from UOMA, which I have heard of that brand before. But this must just be a line that they have. Um, it's just The packaging just looks so very different, but I have heard of this brand before. Okay, a decently fluffy wand to it. That's always nice. Next up here we have something from Aether. Arthur author beauty. I don't really know. It's an A with a dash over it and then fur. So I don't, I really, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I do know that they have really nice eyeshadow palettes. And this is a rose quartz called quad crystal duo. Why would it say that? Quad and duo mean very different things. It is a rose quartz crystal quad. Enunciation was never my strong suit. Yeah, some very muted, just kind of pale pinkish shades. Uh, a couple shimmers in there and perhaps like a matte or two. I do believe this is the brand that say they don't put mirrors in like this portion of their palette so that they're easily recyclable. So that's nice. Okay, well, I swatched the shimmer shimmer shade in the corner, the deepest shade in the palette um, over here, and I kind of thought it would be the most pigmented. I really like swatching the shimmer shades the most because it's typically the most fun, but unfortunately this one definitely isn't super pigmented. Not maybe the most exciting colors in the palette, um, but cute. Ew, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, eye creams. I've been trying them all and none of them seem to be working. Uh, but the next thing we have here is from Murad. This is a Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum, and like I said, I've been trying so many different eye serums and none of them seem to be combating the just the deep dark trenches just like the mariana trenches the deep dark depths of the ocean that receive no light that are my under eyes uh, hopefully maybe this will work oh well okay uh this i don't think is supposed to be for darkness this is more like you know for fine lines and wrinkles and stuff oh the packaging is kind of cute i do of course have some fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes because you know i'm 30 and you just you got wrinkles around your eyes most people got some wrinkles around your eyes next up here we have a brand that i might actually have never heard of before this is rena beauty and that sounds like a new one to me. This is the Guilty Pleasure Lip Gloss. The packaging on this lip gloss is very, very standard. Like almost standard to the point where this kind of looks a little bit potentially like it's just been private labeled. Definitely no real scent to it. It kind of, it doesn't smell the greatest to be really honest. Um, it doesn't have like a vanilla scent to it or a mint or anything like that. It just smells like lip gloss. It's decently pigmented though. It's actually a little bit more peachy than I anticipated it being. Um, I mean, it looks fine. It looks nice. It just looks like a very, very standard gloss. Lisa Rinna. Ah, <laughs> Lisa Rinna. You know, I'm saying that like I had a realization and I fully understand who that is, but I know I know the name Lisa Rinna and I'm having like two different images pop up in my head. One of them's gotta be right. The very last thing inside of this premium box is another Oprah palette. This isn't, well, it's another highlighting and bronzing palette. It is the On The Glow palette and uh, yeah, you definitely get several more shades in here, so hopefully I'll find something that's a little bit, mm, I bet I could just smush that back down. So we did have a little like whoopsie there, I guess in transit. This one here is kind of broken, but doesn't it look a little bit like an ice cream cone? So we definitely have a lot of different face powders going on here. We have a lot of highlights and then a lot of like kind of mixed match things. I personally like to have all my things separate, like having your blush, bron bra bla bla blush bronzer and highlight all together in one little pan. To me, just it could get muddled. Um, it might be nice for traveling though, just so like you don't have to carry a whole lot of like things with you. But yeah, I mean, this is nice. It's a whole lot in one big palette here, so nice. $89. $149.
dollars. Okay, so the Murad Youth Retinol Eye Serum is 89 bucks. Then the Over Cosmetics, the On the Glow Palette, the one that came with the broken ice cream cone, is $149. <laughs> The LYS Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Serum is $28. The UOMA Beauty Mascara is $19.50. The Aether Beauty um, Crystal Quad is $20. And the Rena Beauty Lip Gloss is $19. So let me get you guys a total value for everything. $149. All right, that brings us to a total value of $324.50, which, yeah, I mean, that's that's a whole bunch. That's a whole big bunch for a premium box. Uh, uh, you know, half of it basically is coming from the $100. $149 over palette. Alrighty, three boxes down. Now we have five to go. I think I misspoke last time. So three boxes down, five to go. Another chonker. All right, so this is a boxy charm, whatever it is. I don't know, big boxy charm. The first item we have in here is from Ciate London. This is a I am a woman, what's your superpower palette? And this actually looks incredibly familiar. I feel like we definitely have received this before. Have I received this whole box before? I am in beige all day. Oh no, there's a little price list in here. Dang damn it. So we have kind of like a pinkish warm tone palette here. I have definitely received this palette before. The shades are really pretty. They are nice. And the names are all like famous inspiring women. So yeah, I mean, this is a nice pretty pretty palettes. All right, there we go. Uh, I switched some of the shimmery and metallic shades from this palette and they definitely have a lot more color payoff. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so the next item we have in here is from Pure Heels, uh, which at first I absolutely thought this was going to be a foot product. Uh, it's not, but it, it, you know, it might as well be. This is a rose petal sleeping mask. You think I'm going to put rose petals on my face and lay in that all night? Absolutely not. <laughs> I can already smell it. I don't exactly know how this is showing up to you guys on your screen, but for me, the light like shining through it as it's back Asking in my uh, little ring lights here. It's gross looking. It's real gross looking. It's like some kind of yellowish pinkish goo with little hunks of rose petal just swimming all around in it. I'm just gonna put this lid right back on. I'm gonna tuck this away somewhere safe where I can't smell it <laughs> until my Aunt Mar stops by. And then I'm going to present it to her like here. Here's a thing I have for you. Please, pretty please take it from me. Next up in here we have a little bag of Luxie brushes and I love getting Luxie brushes so I'm excited about this. I have, I have this. Why do I have all these things? So yeah, we just have a little set of Luxie brushes. I like this blue. It's kind of like a robin's egg blue. We have a tiny little beauty blender here and then four different eye brushes, which is nice. Like I absolutely remember getting a whole thing of eggs. Who's gonna forget getting like an entire egg carton in a subscription box? The packaging is so daggone cute. So the next thing we have in here is from Beauty Bakery. Look how daggone precious this is. It's a little egg carton of six beauty blenders. They look like farm fresh Easter eggs. So cute. Ooh, NARS. Okay, I, gar I almost guarantee you, I would put money that this is going to be <laughs> the orgasm blush because anytime we get a full size NARS thing, it's it's that. It's always that. Oh, and would you looky there every single time. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining because NARS is a pretty expensive brand and it's a full size item and this is one of their like most popular things. Or one of the things they're most well known for. I don't know how like super popular it is anymore. It used to be very popular. It's just a nice kind of standard pinky blush with like a little bit of a golden shimmer to it. Oh, I was trying to flip it. I don't know why I was trying to do that. I know I'm not coordinated enough for that. Ugh. I don't know what possessed me to try to do some type of like trick move to show you guys this gentle foaming cleanser, but <laughs> it didn't work out. Uh, anyway, this is from First Day Beauty. It is a gentle foaming cleanser with amino acids and it lifts away dirt, oil, and debris. Oh, another brand that I used to use a lot of, but I have it in some time. This is from Dr. Brandt and it is a triple antioxidant face cream. I guess this came out around Pride because it says Pride on the back. It's just a little tube of cream and it's supposed to be a smoothing moisturizer. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have a little little bag and a bag. Ooh, there's several things in here from Moxie Lash. Is that a Q-tip? Pre-moistened. Pre-moistened olive and castor oil cotton swabs. They are Q-tips, but they are pre-moistened, which is something I've never heard of before. Oh, and then it comes with actual lashes. These are the Sassy Lashes, and they are magnetic. Oh, okay, I can actually get behind those lashes. They're like full enough and long enough without looking like too overwhelming. They're kind of nicely dispersed. And the last thing that comes in here is just the tiniest little thing of magnetic eyeliner. That is the itties bittiest box. Oh my gosh so little. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was everything in this boxy charm from whatever month and however much it costs. Oh my gosh, we're halfway through. We're, we're halfway through. I'm going to try to get through these speedily so we can finally get to the February box. Let's go ahead and get on into this small base box. So fresh and so clean. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what is inside of this one. 
Wonder Beauty. There you are. It's been some time. It's like seeing an old friend. An old friend from like high school that you like maybe actually didn't really get along with that well but they just keep popping up throughout your life like everywhere you go. Like you see them in the grocery and you're like trying to escape them as you're you know shopping in the dairy aisle. We escape. A little play on words there. Oh okay interesting. From the outside of the packaging I thought everything was going to be like kind of mauvey pink a little bit muted but no we have some like fun kind of purpley shades. Oh okay especially this on holiday one right there is really pretty. That's that's definitely a fun shade. It has a lot of like shimmer. It catches the light really nicely. And I truly have nothing against Wonder Beauty as a brand. It was just like they were haunting me there for a while. I couldn't go a singular day without pulling a daggone Wonder Beauty product out of the box. Can I, can I get a break? Can I get a rest from wandering? My feet hurt from all this just traversing. All right, this is from Cheyenne B Cosmetics and I'm just, all this is like bringing me back to Cheyenne B Cosmetics, the Wonder Beauty. It feels like it's two years ago. Ooh, based on this packaging, this could be very, very intense. Ooh, okay. My much more subtle than the packaging itself. I was anticipating this kind of like pink fuchsia, but it's more on like the peachy kind of salmon side. Oh, interesting. This is from Lovecraft Beauty, and I don't know why Lovecraft sounds so familiar. Is that an author? Who is Lovecraft? What is Lovecraft? Is that a movie? It says it's a plasma gloss. So that could be fun. This is in the shade, um, Quasar Goo. I, I can't even begin to tell you what a Quasar Goo is, but it looks like a really nice kind of like copper rose gold. It feels really nice just to rub your finger around it. I I don't know what it is though. Multifunctional buildable gloss that adds dewy iridescent glow to lips, lids, and cheekbones. Oh yeah, it definitely is very coppery. My palm is shining like a new penny. That's, it's really pretty. I personally don't know how much use I would get out of something like this. It's a little bit too coppery, too deep for me to use as like a creamy highlight. I really don't like the idea or the thought of my lids being sticky. So hopefully I can find some use for it because I don't know if anybody that, that I know would want like already rubbed up on Quasar Goo. All right, next up in here, we have an e-ball from Persona. I don't exactly know what an e-balm is, but it's in the shade Manifest. Ew, vitamin E lip balm. Ah, gotcha. Oh, I've been doing push-ups on my countertops. Yes, just on my countertops like this, and I'm so sore from it. Oh, wow. That's definitely a bit of a different color than I was anticipating. Like, that's a straight-up red. Why? That looks nothing like that. And then last but not least, we have something from Earth Harbor. This is the Nebula, and everything from them that I've tried has been some type of, like, serum. So I'm assuming this is a serum. An ampoule. I'm sorry. More specifically, an adaptogen clarity ampoule with sea lavender and ginseng. Ew, how pretty. Look at that. Man, that's a really nice like little ombre bottle from purple to clear. I like that a lot. I <laughs> think that's so cute. That actually smells really nice. It has a nice like herbally scent to it. Maybe a little bit on the, I don't know if sea lavender is actually like lavender, but it smells a little, little lavender-y. All right, you guys, so that was everything in the whatever box we're on now. I'll let me get you guys some prices. So the Wonder Beauty palette is $42. The Earth Harbor, that little thing is 46 bucks. The Persona Cosmetics Tinted Lip Balm is 22. That's, that's also a little expensive. Lovecraft Beauty Plasma gloss is 18 and the Shayana B Miami cream blush is 18. So some of these things just seem a little bit expensive for what they are. All right, it seemed like this box is going to be less expensive than some of the other base boxes that we have seen, but it actually came out to $146, which I think is a tiny bit more than like the first couple base boxes. All right, so we have three boxes left here. Let's go ahead and get out another big one. Why do I have three? How is this happening? I thought for sure that I only got like one of each now. I don't know where these are coming from. All right, I'm seeing a fair amount of skincare in this one. So in this box of Charm Premium, the very first thing that we have is from Kate Somerville. This is the Eradicate. Oh yeah, the sulfur stuff. I used to get this little bottle of like pink sulfur and I would dip a Q-tip into it and like put it on my acne breakouts. And I guess it's just the cleanser version of this. So this has 3% sulfur in it. All right, next up in here we have a little beauty tool and I personally feel like most of these things are just a little bit gimmicky, just a little bit. Um, So this is a sculpt lift bar with 24 karat gold. It's like a vibrating facial massager. Of course it didn't actually come with the batteries. People should put batteries with things. If you sell something battery operated, you should dag on put the batteries in it. This feels good though. It's not vibrating or anything. It's just cold. Oh, okay. So next up here, I'm, I'm getting excited about something that I've actually never tried before. Keep getting these in all of my advent calendars. They're these little like self-warming mask things. So you put them on your face and they heat up and they heat up your eyeballs. And that just sounds really nice and relaxing to me. Be like a little miniature heating pad for your eyes. Following that, we have something from Paracone MD. This is a no rinse micellar cleansing treatment. Oh, okay. Okay, it's not a cleansing water, but a cleansing treatment. Crawls out impurities while hydrating and soothing. I feel like that's what most micellar waters do. Oh, but this one is 
fancy. This is the fanciest bottle of micellar water I've ever seen. Frosted glass with a liquid inside that basically, it looks like it's glowing. It looks like a potion from a movie. Next up in here, we have something from Saint Lux. That's interesting. It says not for resale on the box. I typically only see it not for resale on samples, so that's kind of unusual that it's on a full-size product. Ooh, two little things. So we have two different lip liners in here, one in a very vibrant red shade and then one in kind of like a brown. All right, and the last thing we have in here is from Complex Culture. This is a mascara. Okay, we've received like brushes and different face powders from before, but I think this is the first time I've received their mascara. All right, I actually like the tube. It's a little bit different than your standard, just like black mascara tube. Oh my gosh, why does it smell like protein bars? I don't know why, but that smells exactly like protein bars. Uh, anyway, the little wand here is just a fairly standard looking little kind of thin wand. I smell every single mascara that I've ever received for, I don't know why. I really, I don't know why. I don't know the answer to that. This smells like protein bars. Or more specifically, like the protein and protein bars. It smells like protein. <laughs> All right, here we go with the prices. We have the Kate Somerville Eradicate, which is $44. The Pericone ND Micellar Water, which is $45. I was gonna say that $45 for micellar water was absolutely insane, and I happened to glance down and see that the Skin Inked Sculpt Lift Bar, the 24 karat gold one, is $125. No! The Complex Culture Mascara is $28. That's also kind of expensive. The little like heating up eye mask things are $20, bucks, and then the Saint Lux Lip Liner Duo is $30. Right, which, which brings us to a grand total of $292 dollars for this premium box. Um, again, not terrible. Not the highest price we've seen so far, but not bad. All right, you guys, just two more boxes left to go and only one more box until we get to like, you know, the actual box for this month. Dad nabbit. There's not I'm missing its little price thing again. Oh my. Okay, so the first thing we have in here is from Laura Geller. This is a 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Lip Thing, and it is in just an intensely bright shade. That is that is straight, just coral. I like the name of this because like this is how I explain things. So the next thing we have in here are some exfoliating swipeies. And that is exactly what I would call something like this. If somebody asked me what like little wipes are that you do this with that exfoliate, I'd probably like exfoliating swipe. Perfect naming in my mind. This is from GoTo. They are foolproof exfoliating pads for glowing skin. Oh, <laughs> this smells like liquor. They are what they say they are. They're exfoliating swipeies. They're little pads that you can just use for exfoliating. And um, yeah, I like stuff like that. We're on the same wavelength of being able to use the English language. You, everybody needs some swipey pad thingies. Couldn't say it better myself. Next. <clears throat> Next up, we have... <laughs> We have something else from Mira. This it's it's this is a hydrating toner. Um, yeah, oh, it's it's a hydrating toner. All right, the next thing in here is from Kosas, and we it's a tinted face oil. I've heard of like tinted moisturizers, things like that, but like an oil. Oh, it looks like we've had some leakage. Definitely looks like we've had a bit of a leaking issue there. It's kind of like spurting oil off the side. Oh gosh. Oh heavens. It looks like there's actually a crack here in the top, and I think that's where it's leaking out from. So that's. Cool oily. Oh, okay. Maybe you're supposed to shake it because that's, that's just pure oil. Uh, apparently I have put on far too much. Has anybody ever tried this before? Like, does your face feel slick and greasy all day long? Or like, does it eventually soak in? Or, or what's going on here? This, this doesn't feel good. Like, I wouldn't want my face to feel like the napkin that healthy people use to soak up the grease on their pepperoni pizza. Like, I wouldn't want my face to feel like that all the day. And this is, that's exactly what this feels like. Absorb. Okay, next up in here we have something from Jouet. Um, I just did an entire Jouet admin calendar unboxing. If you guys want to go check that out, it's one of my final advent calendar unboxings. There'll be one video of advents left after that one. So yeah, we were almost done with advent calendars for the season and I think I got this exact product inside of it. Uh, this is the Essential Lip Enhancer, which I tried on in that video. And then last but not least here, we do have a pretty looking palette. This is an Illuminati X Isa. Ooh, wow. Okay, <laughs> this is a interesting selection of colors in there. Nothing really makes sense, to be fully honest. Uh, there's not exactly like a color story happening in here. I feel like it might be a little bit difficult to make like a cohesive eye look out of these shades. They are fun though, if you're not into like making cohesive eye looks and you just want some like fun shades to put on your lids. I mean, these are definitely some fun shades. They're just different looking. But let's get to the pro moment you guys have probably all been waiting for, the actual box from the month, the February premium box. I don't know where my cutting tool went, as always. So oily and slick, I can't open anything. Ooh, okay, there we go. All right, let's get on into this. Ooh, this looks fun. Are you kidding me? There's no, there's no prices on this little thing either. It does say on here that they have epic news coming. They said we've got something epic in the works. Can't wait to tell you about it. The biggest beauty news of the year, so hopefully it's something cool. Um, This is the Treat Your Hearts Out box. And the very first 
first thing we have in here has very cool packaging, but I haven't even read what it is yet. Oh, this is from Ace Beauté. I should have known that actually based on the packaging because a lot of their palettes look like this. It is a Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick in the shade Manifest. Look at that. Wow, how fancy. Packaging on this is very unique and different. A little bit over the top, but you know what? I kind of like it. I'm a little bit concerned about the shade though because it does look fairly light. It kind of just looks like it's going to be one of those concealery peachy shades and that is definitely not my favorite. It does not smell nice. It totally doesn't have the greatest like smell to it, um, but it, it looks pretty cool and unique and different, so it's nice. Following that, we have a giant whopping thing of cream here. What is this? A velvety body cream in unscented. Well, I do know that there are people that are very, very sensitive to scents, like not just in stuff on their face, but like all over. Um, so there are people who like unscented things. I just kind of wish it did have a scent. Um, this is from Refreshments, which I think also is an Ipsy brand. And man, the, just the packaging of this stuff is kind of mind boggling to me. So we have like a damask print up here with just the strangest font I've ever seen for Refreshments. And then there's like some holographic little, it's just, it's a very confusing looking packaging. And all of their stuff looks like this. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a quick absorbing, non-greasy and lasts for 24 hours. It's supposed to nourish and restore I just wish it smelled good as it was doing it. Are there three palettes in here? <laughs> this is a box with three palettes in it. All right, I'm gonna pull out the non-palette thing first, but ooh, how cute. Of course it's from Beauty Bakery. Of course it's from Beauty Bakery. This is just the cutest little packaging. Beauty Bakery has the cutest little packaging. I love the kitschiness of it. Literally like the kitsch, the kitchen, the kitchenness of it. It's a little stick of butter. That's precious. It has the little marks and everything for measuring. That's adorable. I have no idea what it is yet, but it looks like butter and I'm just in awe. Oh, it's a primer. Okay. Unfortunately, it's a primer. To me personally, the packaging is much more exciting than the actual product on the inside of it, but we'll, we'll take a look at it anyway. Is the primer butter shaped like is it yellow like butter butter scented primer you know maybe something to make it a little bit more exciting than just a regular primer cute okay it does still look like the packaging on the outside yay okay i thought it was just gonna be like a little squeezy tube but no it's really adorable oh it's a stick i wasn't expecting that okay so we have a stick of primer just adorable just precious i personally myself don't really care for primer but like it's so cute all right let's go ahead and move on here into what i believe is the first of three different palettes this one i'm assuming is natasha dodota uh because all of her packaging comes like this for some reason and yes it is this is the jubilee palette from natasha dodota oh and it's the worst one yeah some people might absolutely love this color combination here i just see easter this is easter sunday to me i've received this palette before and out of all the little like uh not quads quint quint palettes what do you call a five pan palette? Anyway, out of all these little five pan palettes, this is my least favorite because it just, it looks like Easter to me. But it's still Natasha Nona and it's a very expensive brand and um, yeah, it's a makeup palette, so that's nice. The next palette we have in here is, ooh, very pretty on the outside. It is the Secret Garden palette from 3D Blush and Glow. Wait, what? No, okay, no, it's from Eloise. The name of it is Secret Garden, but it is a 3D Blush and Glow palette. Okay, that was a little confusing, but the packaging is very pretty. I wonder what they mean by 3D blush, like little flowers or something in it? Oh, it is little flowers in it. That's actually really pretty. I like how they look inside of the pans and the shades are also nice as well. We have a couple pans that would be just like kind of a standard pink. This one, I think with like the center section here would look a little bit more peachy orange and then this one would be a bit more mauve. I personally think I would like the pinky orange the best or perhaps the mauve. Wow, okay, those are actually very, very pigmented. So you have to take it easy with those. This is the pinky orange and this is the more like mauve shade. But overall, that's a very cute little palette. Something a tiny bit different, so I like that. All right, and then last but not least, we have our third final largest palette in here. This is kind of heavy. Oh, it's Ciate London. Making sure they stake their claim on subscription boxes. Uh, this is a very heavy palette. It is the Royal Edition 24 piece eyeshadow palette. I wonder what makes it royal. I guess it's the names. I guess it's just the names. Uh, it looks like a fairly standard palette, but the names of the shadows are, you know, royally. Palace, Prince, Tiara, Diamonds. You know, all just the your, your royal stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, the shades are okay. They're fine. There are some in here that look incredibly similar though, especially like on the lid. I feel like several of these would look nearly exactly the same. There's a couple like shimmer metallic ones in here, a lot of mattes. Nothing is like really standing out to me as being like, wow. You know, when they said royal palette, I was kind of hoping we would see maybe like royal colors or something, like a really royal blue, royal purple, like really intense 
it's like jewel tones. A little bit. There's like a royal blue in the corner there. There's a couple. But overall, maybe not like the most exciting palette. I'll swatch just like a couple of them just to see what we're working with. I have Palace Gardens, which is the green and that royal blue. <laughs> You know, they're, they're on there. Uh, the Palace Garden is actually kind of pretty. It's a little bit of like a shifting tone. There's kind of like a gold to it and a green, but you know, they're, they're okay. And all right, yeah, that is everything in the November box. I feel like it was kind of rushed through, you guys. I'm sorry, I've been building for like three hours. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have done like the most recent one with seven others. I don't know, I just, I felt like I needed to get through all these boxy charms. They've been, they've been stacking up, they've been piling up. So that is everything we have in the November boxy charm. This one, I mean, I really appreciate that there's three palettes in here. I'm not going to complain about three palettes. That's nice. Also the stick of butter. I don't even care what it is. Stick of butter is just so cute. I don't, I don't care what's on the inside. They could have just given us like a little pretend stick of butter and I'd have been like, oh my gosh. Overall, I thought it was pretty decent. Very makeup heavy for sure, but um, I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys got inside of any of your box of charms <laughs> that you want to let me know about down below in the comments. Let me know if you enjoy these like big massive unboxings or if you would just like me to forget about months that like we forget to open together and just stick to like the current month. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I love reading and responding to them. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would be to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>